Hi everyone. Today's talk is about making an impact from India to the rest of the world by building and nurturing women infosec communities. We all know that women are underrepresented in the infosec sector. India is one of the most diverse and fastest growing countries in the world. And due to the fastest growth, women often are left behind. The average female literacy rate is 79.7%, while in India, the average rate is just 65.46 as per Women's Web. The women that enter the technology workforce is even lesser and cybersecurity is further less. In India, a million engineers graduate a year, but there are only 10% of them are, in, are women. Now, out of the 10%, we only find 0.5% in InfoSec. That's how the stats are more or less. The ratio in the cybersecurity team is really dim, and this is widely recognized. Now, what is the motivation behind this talk? Like any other person, I also have a lot of questions in mind. So for anyone in the audience, uh, have you ever felt you are among like 1,000 people and you're just odd one out? Have you ever felt that you needed a mentor and you couldn't find one? Or you were very hesitant to talk to people because uh, you were not sure how your approach would be taken. We all know this we, we, this field lack female role models. And how many InfoSec women champions are there, especially when we talk about India or handful of them? Now, there are so many unconscious biases that we ha all have, whether I'm adequate for the group or not, whether I'm part of IT or an InfoSec group or not, we are all hesitant in speaking with the people who are not like us. We always look for a space to speak without feeling being judged. We as women always uh, look for something like 10 on 10. Everything is well at home, husband to be in the best space, child to have the best life, uh, which leaves very less space for ourselves to think about our own aspirations. Weekdays are hectic and weekends are even more hectic to think about anything other than family, other than our own personal work. And according to one of the survey, uh, women working in the cybersecurity currently accounts for 25% of the overall workforce. And if we say this number as per cybersecurity venture, this is um, increased in the past few years. Like this was 24% uh, in 2019 and uh, this was 11% in 2017. So we are seeing the gradual shift, but this has to be more. This has to grow big time. And I've, uh, I have felt that we need more women in the InfoSec space, and which is what motivated me to take up InfoSec Girls as a community and take it forward. Now, a bit about myself. Uh, like I'm Vandana Verma, and I'm one of the security relations leader at Sneak, taking care of the APJ region. I'm also serving on the OWASP Global Board as a vice chairperson. Uh, I also lead communities like InfoSec Girls, InfoSec Diversity, and InfoSec Kids. Today, I'm going to be speaking about how we started InfoSec Girls, where did we go, uh, where did we land, and how are the things that actually shaped up. Now, uh, before I start off uh, this talk, so for people in the uh, in the audience or men in the audience, have you ever wanted to bring more women in InfoSec and your area of work? Um, I have talked about bringing diversity and inclusion in one of my talk at uh, diversity um, on diversity and inclusion at Global AppSec DC that you might want to check out. Um, so what this talk is about, this talk is about InfoSec Girls, as I said, and the community that we've built in India. What the community means to us, how we started the community, what are the challenges faced during this journey, how did we overcome those challenges, what are the achievements and um, the future roadmap that we have. Along the journey of the presentation, I'll share the framework on how to start a community or join a community of your interest. We've been given, we've been giving web application security training as well, uh, which you can find it on uh, InfoSec Girls Gitbook. Uh, we'll also link it to the website as well, so that the free content is for everyone. Now, what is the real impact that we have made? I wanted to. Uh, put it across in a way that uh, we start off with the achievements and then we talk about other things. So we have actually um, students and professionals who have secured jobs. There are first time speakers who've been to global conferences and there are people 
who actually we mentored who gr- who are growing in the industry so there are 1000 plus people who we whom we have mentored in infosec now about the community journey how did it all started it all started in 2014 uh, it there was a downfall where in an uh, it was stopped and then i rejuvenated with few other girls in 2017 after that we launched multiple chapters pune mumbai delhi uh, bhopal and so many chapters and now we have over 25 chapters but when we talk about those chapters it's not all a rosy picture there were challenges there are challenges that we are facing that we have faced and it is a community it is always um working up like everyone is always working hard to support encourage everyone now if i talk about challenges the first one being gathering people ha- making sure there is an interest that sparks in them then talking about balancing the family how am i going to balance it out over the weekend it, because if there is a meet up over the weekend or on a friday night how i am going to be managing now there were very less women in cyber security to how how to motivate them to join the workforce how to motivate them to be part of the whole ecosystem uh, now the right picture if you see the picture on the right hand side there was a person who wanted to speak and that person brought uh, their kids to the uh, to the meet up so that they also can join and then they also can uh, be part of the whole ecosystem places to gather now right now we are virtual so we use the virtual platforms but in the beginning we had issues in gathering at a place wherein we look for a, a venue then finding the venue facility facilities at the venue because we needed a room wherein which has a projector and then providing other details like access to the washroom and water uh, sustainable location for everyone that's one big challenge and speakers the most important part motivating people uh, to to tell them that yes you can do it because they have so many preconceived concept- notion that if i don't do right if there's something that goes wrong if this doesn't happen right or what people what if people will make fun of us so there are a lot of things that actually uh, were going around in people's mind and uh lack of awareness what this community is all about whether it's uh, it's the community that we actually want i've open heard people saying that tech is for men and kitchen is for women it is nothing to do with the gender it is not just women in particular but everyone in general who are who needs to be enlightened we all have notion whether i can speak at the meet up or not if we would be wooed or bullied uh, time management for 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 the people and then apprehensions about speaking now in the beginning we had very low participation and outreach and less people knowing about the community we did not realize the to spread awareness via uh, multiple mediums to reach the audience is important uh, which led to the community low turn up so in the beginning it was difficult to bring even more participants we used to have only 3 to 4 participants but we never lost hope just relying on mouth, mouth word no you need medium to share and then relying on the sh- social media that's what we started off we started hosting our meets via meet up uh, we started sharing via twitter linkedin and many other places so it was started um, uh, with an ocean that okay uh, this is the thing we want so there were two people who started it and they tried hosting the meet up did a few things but it did not work out so they stopped it all together then um, they had an idea but could not take it forward due to personal and professional commitments at some point it was all halted so we rejuvenated it and we revived it but we were worried how to stop this from happening again wherein we wanted a sustainability plan for it so we did have our failures along the journey we did do the survival plan we did have a survival plan and we still have it because we have seen from our failures and then we wanted to stay motivated so we make sure that we connect um, every now and then we speak to each other and this time has been very critical so everybody needed each other so this is how we received acceptance after all the failures that we had because failures are the stepping stones to to make you grow if 
it happens if if it becomes successful that means your idea worked out if it doesn't become successful that means you've learned something from that and you, you might do something uh, different the next time and uh, if i talk about acceptance um, people started showing interest in the cause and wanted to know more about infosec girls supported it as a result companies were ready to provide venues and uh, other support like sponsorships now we do have four to five venues available in most cities where we host meetups there's a saying keep doing the work don't wait for the reward things will automatically turn out for the positive a lot of first time speakers have started reaching out to us for joining the groups and how do infosec girls come contribute to the bigger aspect uh, we host meetups which is why, for sharing the knowledge and we have hosted in multiple countries and uh, then if about if i talk about um, an informal connects that we do over lunches dinners at different places like conferences and uh, different meetup groups collaboration on ideas is one important thing that we don't miss out on because without collab collaborating on ideas i think things can't work out and if i talk about um, uh, hosting the in person meets which was there to uh, to provide a platform uh, and providing like a, a motivating factor or boosting their confidence so we helped in boosting their confidence assured that we are here to be with you to make you comfortable we are working towards having chapters in the unsung places in india where people don't think of going so we've started reaching those places and mentoring the people sometimes in person meetups are not possible like it is a critical time uh, we are hosting all our meetups online via uh, different channels we live stream almost every other week our youtube channel consists of webinars podcasts and we regularly try to get industry experts to guide us on various topics so we have infosec girls youtube channel as well uh, to conduct the global meets to expose the women on the global women side with the global uh, cybersecurity leaders uh, this is another thing that is very very important is there's not much which has been done about educating students about cybersecurity i believe there has to be a separate program for bringing cyber security awareness among the kids and that's when we started off with infosec kids and we started uh, hosting the meet or uh, uh, the proper trainings at the colleges and schools the pros and cons of cyber space needs to be assimilated deep down into the roots right from the start this is how we can make a change and our nation cyber safe one more approach other than the awareness program would be giving them exposure to unmediated scenarios in the form of games and challenges this will catch their attention and make them brainstorm about the importance of cybersecurity uh, of the devices and their data this is how we uh, they would use gadgets in a safe manner we started bringing cybersecurity to the college students and giving them opportunities before even going moving out of the college and hence the entire team of infosec girls spanning all over india and some parts outside is trying to be uh, to, to to bridge a gap which is there we collaborate with international institutes uh, and drive our goal further the disbalance is global it's not just india it's everywhere we aim to bring diversity and inclusion to the workforce everywhere cybersecurity is all about ideas and ideas rule the world besides the learning is a lifelong process the earlier it starts the better and sponsorships and scholarships definitely will help as part of infosec girls we do provide scholarships for various forums and conferences we also have collaborate with uh, collaborated with many conferences and companies and institutions to provide sponsorship for women and students to attend specific conferences the rational is to provide exposure uh, to them and uh, to help them come out of their cocoon and providing scholarship will only catalyze their enthusiasm towards learning things and help stimulate the process of uh, uh, and help stimulate their thinking process thereby making the world a better place to learn share and grow we identified that we need to upskill people and we built the training and started delivering at a number of places this is how it has helped many people it has been free or minimally charged for the people to kick start their journey in infosec we started giving workshops at different cities colleges and the conferences we given many conferences uh, many workshops at the global conferences as well now that the gap has been identified 
our mission is to bridge the gap by educating more and more passionate people towards cybersecurity by providing uh, the, the right set of requirements which are there in the industry. And when we talk about this uh, gap of jobs wherein uh, we are not finding the right people for the job, it's best that we start learning and educating people in the industry. And we start doing that by mentorship, by giving them career guidance, by helping them find the job. Because if we look at the, the stats for the, the people that organization of look, our organization are looking for, it's huge. It's huge. There's so much. Now, apart from that, we do have some success stories. So these are some of the testimonials from the different people in the industry and who has gone benefited out of uh, InfoSec Girls. And the uh, InfoSec Girls has helped them grow. Uh, this is one of the mentorship program that we started where we hosted many mentors and mentees uh, via a platform and we bashed them and it ran for uh, six weeks. And then there's another program that has started again for six weeks so that people can understand and get to know each other every week. They can connect and meet with each other. And what did we achieve so far? Out of all of this, we have reached many chapters. We've connected constantly with different people and did so much more about upskilling different things, being open and accessible and started from the beginning wherein training small and then going big. And there are efforts to go in behind the scenes wherein people are creating posters, people are creating sessions, people are setting up speakers, people are uh, becoming the budding speaker so that new people can come forward and experiment with the new venues. Now, let me tell you one interesting aspect that we have almost 80% of the speakers who are one-time speakers or the first-time speakers. Um, apart from that, there's a community op opinion and feedback, which does matter, wherein we always try and understand what community is looking for. There are fresh ideas, new learning opportunities, and keeping a tab on the pulse of the community, which is very, very important. Now, how do I start my own community? It's one question. So should I contribute or should I contribute to a community? Remember one thing. Uh, if you want to be part of any community, look for a community nearby. If you feel that your values or ethos match with that community, please join it. And if you have the bandwidth to start a new one, go ahead and start a new one. People will eventually start coming in. But make sure that it is sustainable. Because starting is something is uh, easy, but maintaining that is very, very tough. And what about framework for a community? Build, manage, sustain, and improve. Building is easy. Then you have to manage it, sustain it, and keep improving it. Sustainable community can run for a long time. And more chapters around the world host free conferences, encourage participants to join new initiatives, focus on educating people. These are the things that we have in our future roadmap. And the key takeaways, pay it forward. If you've got help from someone, please do pay it forward. It, it is only going back in a good way to you. Partner with organization, ask for help. It is way more, uh, sometimes it is needed and we just don't ask for help, but that's the most incredible thing. We always ask for help if it is needed. And we are making progress, but there is more that we can do. There's a long way to go. There's a wonderful quote by Michelle Obama. Our greatness comes when we appreciate each other's stance, when we learn from each other, when we lean on each other, and we live by this. We also started two communities, InfoSec Kids and InfoSec Diversity. Uh, InfoSec Kids was started with a motive to make sure that we have more kids and the awareness for their parents, and InfoSec Diversity to bring cybersecurity to everyone, like to the common people. You can reach us anytime on infoseggirls.in, uh, hello at infoseggirls.in, or you can reach me at my email address, one then at infoseggirls.com, Twitter, Facebook. We are available at all the places. Do feel free to reach us anytime. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to be part of Linux Open Source Summit.